on my face. I could call out a hundred names. Got a twenty dollar bill, you just survive. Singing, singing the Star Spangled, Spangled Banner. Banner. Curry, Grant. 
one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this, the Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals. Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. Yep, that one's good. I mean, come on, a seven-footer with a 7-5 wingspan. Eight beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Now, here's Wiseman. Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Good decision-making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Bridges outside to the left side wing. Aiden with a screen. Anthony, the pass to Aiden. Yep, count it. Aiden's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, when you let Aiden get the ball close, it's over. DeAndre is just too skilled. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Now here's Wiggins. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Green, and here's Weissman. Back to Green. The three from Curry. The shot, no good. And Phoenix will come the other way. They're coming off a loss against Miami. They had a tough time beyond the arc. A lot of their possessions ended in missed threes. They were breaking, they were missing, they were airballing, they were doing everything. Brutal night shooting for them when they couldn't even hit the broad side of the bar. They couldn't hit the ocean if they fell out of the bar. Aiden. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. Yeah, looking at Aiden using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. Timeout called, the Warriors. So let's, let's check, check in on the standings in the Western, Western Conference. Conference. You, you take, take a look at the Warriors. Early on, they've got, got the third best record. And for the Suns, three and a half games behind. Well, I think for Golden State, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. And you want to talk about hitting the ground running? They've done exactly this. And you've got to give a lot of credit to their coaching staff for getting this team locked in early. One thing you notice about these sons, RJ, many of them are considered strong two-way talents. And that is such a list for your team. How you guys have been getting that on both sides of the floor instead of trying to balance a lineup of just pure specialists? Now here's Kaminga. He's, He's coming off a 13-point game, game against San Antonio. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Halliburton, pass to charge. Back to Halliburton. Pass to Boston. Over pool. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. 
And a good opportunity to bring up this season's top assist man. The fourth spot held by Tyrese Halliburton. He has a great eye for where to send the ball. And you know his teammates love playing with an unselfish guy like him. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And again, no good by Golden State. And the defense got one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. A minute 22 left in the first quarter here. Pass to Landale. Left to the free fly. It's rebounded by Golden State. They went to Phoenix for their last meeting with the Suns, came out with a victory. And in the last meeting, they definitely had the upper hand at the charity strike. With three, even Tenzo. The rebound by Shannon. The Suns leading. Here's Sharks. Fires from deep. Sinks it from distance. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Now the Warriors with it. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Poole. Oh, it's just miss after miss right now. The Suns have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. Pass to Halliburton. Charge a screen. Four on the clock. Takes a 13-footer. Shannon, no, no good. good. They're, They're playing, playing with, with a lot of energy tonight. We can see, see that in their dominance on the glass. On the way, Green. Oh, on target from range. Gotta, Gotta fight, fight harder, harder to get over those screens. screens. Yeah, yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The Suns on top, up three. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Six. 
Wiggins, Wiggins outside. outside. Fires the three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Hayes got four rebounds in the game. Anthony, the pass to Johnson. Curry against Anthony. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, in baseball, Graham, they have a term, a five-tool player. In the NBA these days, it's similar. You need those well-rounded players to succeed. Ah, I like the baseball reference, but you're spot on, B.A. It's all about bringing versatility to the game. Players that can shoot, pass, dribble, defend, and rebound. And I'll throw even in there, lead, and play selfless basketball. Those kind of guys that can do it all. That's a recipe for success in the NBA. The free throw drops for Anthony, and the 75 list came out last season, the top 75 players in NBA history. RJ, who do you think was the biggest snub? Without a doubt, the biggest snub was Dwight Howard. When you see what Dwight Howard was and was able to do, and I understand if you want to look at the last five, six years of his career, but don't gloss over the first 10. He led a team to the NBA Finals battling against the Lakers as the best player on the team. Dominated the Eastern Conference, beat LeBron James. And we've seen how hard that is to do in the Eastern Conference. So to me, he is one of the top 75 players of all time. Anthony up top. He's covered by Curry. Out to Bridges. Outside Booker. Pass to Anthony. The three. Can't get it to go, so Golden State will take it the other way. Coming into this, having not to win against San Antonio in their last game. Oh man, they were in total control, really doing anything they wanted. It was that level of dominance. It really is fun seeing an offensive function like a well-oiled machine. I'll be interested to see if they can keep doing this. And after struggling out the gate, he's looked more confident, and it's why his teammates have continued to feel him. To Booker. The shot, no good. Golden State has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. And with their title last season, the Warriors now with seven in franchise history, no longer tied with the Bulls. They are alone and ranked third of all time. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Jim on Green suffered through the losing years with the Dubs. He said, quote, I just couldn't get myself going. Coach Kerr pulled me aside and said, quote, you have to be the worst player in meaningless games I've ever seen. But I found a love again, and I'm just enjoying playing basketball. Brian? Hey, it shows, Allie. Thank you. Checked in for Bridges. Sharon comes in for Devin Booker. And Halliburton is subbed in for Anthony. And the new group getting ready for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Wiseman. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. Poole, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's DiVincenzo in for Stephen Curry. The Suns have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. To Batase. 
Now Halliburton. Here's Shaman. Holly Stein with a screen on pool. Holly Stein gets the bucket. Great recognition of the mismatch, abusing the smaller defender for guy. A minute 39 left to play in the first half. Inside. Here's Kaminga. Oh, Holly Stein with the block. And the ball's out of bounds. It was last touched by Holly Stein. Landale's checked in for the Suns. Biombo comes in for Cauley Stein. Here's Moody. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. All right, let's see the best free throw shooting teams this season. The Suns third. And this is a team that knocks down their free throws at an elite rate. Whoever they go up against should always try to avoid fouling them at all costs. The Suns have gone four for six here in the second. Halliburton with the ball. He had a 12 point outing in their last game against the Heat in Miami. Pass to Sharon. Three pointer. Here's Landale. And a nice finish on the layup. And it's a seven point Phoenix lead. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Looney the screen. Cool to pass to Looney. Basket's good. Looney's got his first basket. I just love when teams make it work down low. Pass to Landale, takes a three, and it's Poole with a rebound. Golden State has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. There's 31 seconds left in the second. That one is off. That is not a guy you want to allow open with some rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Pass to Landale. Halliburton with the ball. Here's Boston. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Two on the clock. And another basket for Phoenix. Those mid-range looks will be there for him. Nice work to capitalize. And Looney with the slam. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Suns on top, leading by five. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Here with Coach Steve Kerr, your defense struggling to contain them in the first half. How do you remedy it? We got to uh, get back in transition. We got to make them feel us. You know, they're just running anything they want. We've got to at least disrupt the stuff they're trying to do. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. And as we welcome you to the studio, we call your attention to the top performers for each team in the first half. Not surprising to see two competitive guys who bring it every time on the floor. It's been a spicy duel to watch. Yeah, and uh, we know you like it spicy. No, I don't. Give me some milk. And now looking at where things stand at the half, there's some work to be done for the Warriors. They're losing the battle of the boards and the battle of possessions. You gotta man up and take care of business. Man up! Don't, you, you always say the man up. You try to slide these things in track. Yeah, that's right. But it's got to be a team effort. Everyone's got to get in there. Man up. Oh, my gosh. Kenny. Kenny. Man up. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter.
second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. And let's see if the D adjusts make life a little more difficult on him. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans. They resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. So on the floor for Golden State. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay the guards with Draymond up front at the four. Wiseman is out there with Andrew Wiggins. The first free throw is good. RJ, you're in the middle of a few trades in your career, to put it lightly. What's that like as a player to get moved around so much? Thanks for bringing that up so sweetly, Brian. I appreciate that. Look, there are pros and cons to this. It's nice to know that another organization wants you for whatever reason, but it's also tough to leave an organization that you had a connection to, the fan base. But eventually, you figure it out. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Thompson passes to Wiseman. Pass to Curry. Wiseman, a screen on Anthony. Here's Curry. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Cole Anthony. Well, we might as well count those free throw shots. Curry is automatic at the line. down the first one. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, Steph Curry set the record for most threes made in NBA history during the 21-22 season. And so Curry nails both of them. And Stephen set, set that record against the Knicks, Knicks Richard. Richard. Yeah, yeah, with Ray Allen in attendance to watch as he passed him on the lid. You can tell it meant a lot to Steph. Maybe the greatest shooter, not maybe, the greatest shooter the game has ever seen. And that was good. Booker's got four points this quarter. Fantastic decision making. Eight, electing to move him for the high percentage look. Curry played it in with a nice touch off the window. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Here's Booker. No good on the shot. Thompson with some nice D. The Warriors trailing. Outside Curry. The inside. inside and the slam dunk by Thompson. Thompson. That's, That's a fantastic, fantastic decision by Curry. Curry. Defense too focused in on step. Booker pass to Anthony from D. Johnson, and it's cleared by Stephen Curry. <laughs> he probably thought he was going to bury that one. With the seven footer again, the Warriors score. A clean start to the half for them, knocking down their first three shots. Aiden with a screen. Here's Booker. The Warriors pull it in. Wiseman's got four rebounds now. Rough start to the second half for them, only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Thompson passes to Curry. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. It's going to be on DeAndre Aiden. That's, That's been typical, typical of their performance, performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. And the Suns making a change here. But Taze's checked in. And Golden State also making a switch. Green is checked in. Find the lane. One shot. And that one 
falls for Curry. Perhaps the greatest shooter the game has ever seen. Curry continues to age like fine wine. Second half of play here. Just under two and a half minutes passed. And they'll get another chance. Booker can't get it to go. Not his best efficiency in this quarter. Sometimes that's how it goes. Now here's Thompson. An important role in this offense. Averaging around 12 and a half per game. There's the three. That's good from Curry. All the assists by Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist with that last one. The Suns trailing. Boy, they love if anyone can get a bucket. Yeah, their, their offense, offense has been grinding, grinding to a halt. Timeout call, the Suns. For Phoenix, Cauley Stein comes in for DeAndre Eaton, and Tyrese Halliburton subbed in for Booker. And Golden State also making a switch. Poole, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. Draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. 
quickly here. Let's look at the teams that lead the league in field goal percentage. Second, the Warriors. The basketball IQ this team possesses is special. They don't rush anything on the offensive end. They take their time and stay patient trying to find the best shot possible. Shoot two. Drops the first. Didn't get to the line in the first half, but since the break, he's been in attack mode. Great adjustment. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Landale's checked in for Bataze. Biombo comes in for Cauley Stein. Boston's checked in for Johnson. And it's Shamit in for Bridges. And so he makes both from the line. A minute four left to play in the third quarter here. Pass to Landale. Back to Shamit. The three is up. And the Suns get another three. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a bad job fighting through the screen. Cool, the pass to Curry. And again, no good by Golden State. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless spin. Now here's Biombo. He's watched by Kaminga. Just five on the clock. Here's Boston. Good. Now just a two-point warrior lead. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. When it took them a little while to get there, just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. Outside Curry. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Warriors. He's been doing damage on the offensive end all night. 28 points in this one. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. And from a team perspective, having your off-guard rip-off passes like that, it's awesome. It shows you have guys willing to give up the rock. so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Booker and Johnson are out on the wings. Inside, it's Sharich at the four with Aiden at the five. And it's Anthony in at the one. That's who's out there for Phoenix. On a night like tonight, Steph Curry is must-watch basketball. He can score from anywhere. Outside Booker. Johnson passes to Aiden. Back to Johnson. Pass to Sharch. Thompson against Johnson. For three, Booker! They grab their own miss, and Aiden gets it to go. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. And so it's Golden State with it. They've led by as much as 10. And here's Curry for three. Doesn't go for him. And Phoenix will come the other way. After this game, they can look forward to Utah, where they'll have a matchup against the Jazz. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Golden State has gone one and two from deep in this quarter. The three from Curry. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got six rebounds in the game. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. Here's Booker. And the Suns get it back. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. 
Not much you can do to try and push through it. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Aiden with a screen. Shoots it from the high post. Yes! He nails it! Calls the play and Booker executes to perfection. Pass to Wiseman. Now here's Curry. Now pull. The free ball. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. And the Warriors lead by four. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. Timeout call. The Suns. Started. He's checked in for the Suns. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Wiggins comes in for Curry. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. He got his squad fired up, saying, quote, now it's our time. If we want to take over this game, here is the moment. His guys look ready to deliver. We'll see. Okay, thanks, Ali. Here's Aiden. And for the outside. Back to Aiden. He gets it. He's second for eight and really going out about there. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Pass to Poole. Green with a screen on Anthony. Poole with a ball. And Johnson picks him up defensively. And that one's good. Green. And offensively, it appears they've hit their stride. The Suns have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Anthony, pass to Booker. Shoots over Thompson. Again, the Suns get number two. And he's been much more assertive here in the second half. Getting to his spots and executing with ease. Pool outside. Fade away. The Suns clear it. This, this has, has been, been a close game, game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Bridges, Bridges right side. side. Now Aiden. Aiden. Pass to Anthony. Anthony. Shot, Shot clock at five. five. To take the lead! Rebounded by, by Green. Golden, Golden State, State has got, got two of five threes to go here, here in the fourth. fourth. And, and here's Poole. Here's Wiggins. Back to Poole. Oh, touch off the glass. In making the extra pass, Wiggins' teammates appreciate his willingness to get into them when they're uncovered. Booker against Thompson. Second chance effort. And laid in by Booker. Rising and meet the challenge. He wants so badly to deliver for his team. Time called here. 
Warriors decide to talk it over. They're up by two. A minute 39 left in the game. Three left in the final quarter. Booker against Thompson. Jackson with three. And it's Booker again missing. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Phoenix has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Quickly check, check out the, the scoring, scoring breakdown, breakdown here for the Warriors. Warriors. 
and he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. The ultimate score. Booker looks to add some clutch to his game. So the first one drops, and that brings him within five. The thing about Booker is he rarely has an off night. He's one of the most consistent shooters in the league. Both free throws good from Booker. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry. Two shots. Take a break. Two shots. He gets the first, and that puts him up five. So both well, free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. He knows how important it is converting at the line and building up this lead. Phoenix calls timeout. They trail by six. 20 seconds left in the final quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. We've seen teams come back from this before. Smart to take the timeout and get everybody focused on exactly what needs to be done.
20 seconds left to play in the fourth. Bridges finds Booker. From deep. Thompson pulls it in. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Golden State, Clay Thompson, taking two shots. Shoot two. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. After a run of bad luck with injuries, it's great to see Thompson back on the court contributing because this man, he is the definition of a warrior. And so he drops them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. From deep three-point range. No good that time. And so it's Golden State winning this one. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. And now let's check in with Allie the Force with the player of the game, Allie. Thanks so much, Stefan. A big time victory tonight. What aspect of this win pleases you the most? Uh, with a full team effort, obviously, we look at the stat sheet, but the little things I'm talking about that we did to win the game tonight are huge. And that's when it's winning time, we showed up, and that, uh, that means a lot. It's got to feel good to see it come together. Thanks so much. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson. Thank you for tuning in. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry.